Hey y'all, I don't know what the weather is like where you are, but here in Mississippi, fall is upon us. It is getting colder and I'm a little frigid. In today's video, y'all, I seen this case come across the local news and I had no clue about it before this, before last night. And I was like, this is insane to me. I have got to tell y'all all about it. So I'm just going to add the clip from the local news station. Shout out to WTVA 9 News out of Tupelo for this clip. Missing persons case that's more than 14 years old. But time may be running out for answers. WTVA's Tanya Carter joins us to explain. Emily, imagine your mother vanished without a trace. That's what happened to the family of Felicia Cox in 2007. Since then, her daughter searched for answers and most recently answers from an unlikely source, a death row inmate scheduled to be executed in two weeks. David, hello, how are you? I hope to find you're doing well. The purpose of this letter is simply to have some possible closure. Amber Miskelly fired off a letter to David Neal Cox, who is set to die by lethal injection. She believes he is the reason why her mother, Felicia Cox, is still missing. Amber is angry the state moved up the execution. I had originally been told that it was supposed to be next year, so I thought I had more time to try to figure out or at least contact David myself or something. Because she fears he could die before revealing what he knows. I just really want some closure. I just would like to know at least where her body is so we can have a proper burial. According to the Pontotoc County Sheriff's Office, the 40-year-old mother of two disappeared on July 2nd, 2007. Law enforcement said Felicia Cox came to this area to visit her sister-in-law, Kim Cox, but instead, David Neal Cox was at the home. When you read the police report, he, he was literally the last person with her when she was alive, last seen alive. That's according to the missing persons report that Kim Cox filed after Felicia did not return home that day. Then, three years later, David Neal Cox killed his wife in a fit of rage unrelated to Felicia's disappearance. Miss Kelly will not be at Cox's execution, but wishes she could. I would. I would want to be there because I want to, um, I want him to see my face and see my mom's face. There's a lot more to Felicia's disappearance that you can read on our website, WTVA.com. David Neal Cox asked to be put to death in the state of Mississippi agreed. Again, his execution is set for November 17th. Law enforcement told me they've spoken with Cox over the years about Felicia's disappearance, but he has not cooperated with them. It is uncertain at this time if they will try one last time to finally find out what happened on a summer day 14 years ago. Missing 14 years and not knowing what happened or where your mother is has to be the unimaginable pain that you never want to feel. This right here is horrible. And y'all know that man knows something. He knows exactly what happened to that woman Felicia Cox, and he knows exactly where she's at, in my opinion. Now, I hope and pray this girl gets the answers and the closure she desperately deserves and needs. Like they said, his execution date is coming up here in just a couple of weeks, so I hope he does the right thing. I mean, like they said, law enforcement has asked him in the past, and he hasn't cooperated but, I mean, it's it's time. He needs to. He has the answers. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Leave some love for the daughter in the comments. Y'all pray for a miracle. Pray that this man gives the daughter the answers that she deserves and needs. Y'all please smash that subscribe button. As I have updates, I will post them and keep y'all updated. On this case and others, if you have a case you would like me to discuss or cover, please email me at truecrimecases101 at gmail.com.